we're going to do a video on how to use the AT Pro in the river metal detecting. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Scott from the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com. If you've not been over to my website, I'm putting a ton of stuff over there for beginners and I'm doing a lot of reviews on equipment and tips and tricks. So if you haven't been over there yet, appreciate it if you take a look at it and tell me what you think. Drop me a comment, tell me it sucks, tell me it's good. I don't care, just tell me something. Um, and also, if you're not a member of my Patreon page, why don't you join me over on Patreon? We're doing a lot of stuff over there, uh, a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I share with my patrons. And uh, for as little as a buck a month, you can see all that stuff. So uh, join me over there as well. Look at the bald eagle. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder where the nest is. There he comes. He's come back around. There's that water snake slither across there. <laughs> yeah, right close to where I want to be too. Yeah. If you're not familiar with my channel, you'll know very shortly if you watch some of my videos that I'm not a huge fan of water snakes. I'm not a fan at all. Oh, and by the way, we are heading down the river today with my Newport 55 horsepower trolling motor back there. Newport Vessels, if you guys are interested in putting a motor on your boat, I will put a link in the description so you can see all the gear that I have set up on this boat here on my kayak. I'm hunting in a kayak, or I'm hunting up. I'm floating downstream in a Ascend 10T. So um, that's my setup, and I got a cool rig to go with it. There's a video on my channel you can check out too, and I can go through all my mods and stuff. Today, I told you earlier we're going to talk about the AT Pro AT Series metal detectors and we're going to set them up on the water and so you guys know how to use them. I know this is probably old old information. This is These machines have been around for a long time. But I thought, yeah, what the heck. Somebody asked me the other day what my setup was. and well, I've done videos on this before, but they're pretty old. So I thought, well, we'll just refresh and do another one. What do you think? Anyway, I am done hunting for today already. I'll show you what I got. I didn't find much today, but this is kind of just going over, um, you know, what you're going to find when you're in the river and stuff. You know, I didn't find anything really outstanding. I did find this really cool uh, pocket watch case. And some modern sinkers, nothing real old today. A couple shell casings, some, you know, normal river junk that you find. But most importantly is if you have an AT Pro, AT Gold, and you just got it, and you're not really sure how to set it up for the river, or water, or water detecting in general, um, I'm gonna walk you through all that, all that stuff. It's real simple. It'll get you in the water hunting for relics and coins and things in about five minutes, all right? So let's go over, let's go over the settings now, and let's just get you set up. All right, guys, for starters, I obviously have my AT Pro, and I'm apologizing for the shadows, but um, I got the AT Pro here. I've had this thing, well, this is the new version that I have, because I waterlogged the other one so bad after seven years that I had to get a new one so uh, that's a brand new machine right there pretty much I do carry a little shovel with me sometimes if I get in bedrock or something I need to prop a piece of the bedrock or a big rock I can use my shovel helps out a lot obviously got a pair of the waterproof headphones for Garrett's AT Pro um, I have a bag also for Garrett I carry sometimes I use my my pouch to carry my pinpointer but today I'm going to put this, my pinpointer, which I have the XP MI6. I also own XP MI4. They're both very good pinpointers. I like them a lot. I'm going to attach this little thing to my, my hip so it's easier to reach and out of the way. The one thing I will recommend that you do get if you're in the water is to get yourself a tether. You're going to want to tether the machine to your, to your body. Otherwise, it will float away on you. And um, it's just good to have something attached. What I usually do is just, you know, attach this right at the bottom 
and then attach it to my my loop on my uh, on my bag. So that's really it. Now I'll show you how to set up AT Pro for the type of water hunting that I do. All right, guys. The first thing you want to do is make sure you put your coil in the water. It's really important you do that. If you don't do that, it kind of jacks up the ground balancing and stuff. So make sure your coil is in the water. Mine's already in the water, as you can see. And all I want you to do is hit the mode button, which is the power button if you hold it in. And your power comes on. Now, I'm going to tell you that I like hunting in mode Pro Zero. So to change that, you hit the mode button. You can cycle through. These are your standard programs. Then you get the Pro mode, and you can put it into Custom, Coins, or Zero. But now you're in Pro Zero, if you can see that, hopefully you can. A couple other settings I like to change right off the bat. Iron Discrimination. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully you can. Um, I like to put my Iron Discrimination all the way up to about 23. I don't go any higher usually than to 25. You know, 25 is pretty much my max, but I usually start out with like 23, 22. And your sensitivity is another important one. If you can run your sensitivity full blast, then do it. If not, you may have to bump it down one or two, maybe even three notches if you got a lot of iron and stuff in the uh, in the riverbed. So just keep that in mind. Try to run as high as you can, but if you can't, back it down until the machine gets quiet. And that is really it, guys. Oh, and the iron audio, you can turn that on and off if you want. I always like to leave it on. I like to hear my targets. So that is really simple. I mean, this is like one of the easiest machines you can ever, ever own and operate on land or in the river. And um, if you want to ground balance it, you still can. You should be fine in the water, though. But if you want to ground balance it, you just hold in your ground balance button, and you just kind of bob it up and down, even in the water, until it gets quiet. You can try that if you want, but you usually don't have to. That is all there is to it, to setting up your AT Pro, AT Gold. Um, there's not much to it. AT Max is a little bit different, but pretty similar. Um, but I like the AT Gold and the AT Pros. They've worked really good for me in the, over, over the years, and um, they'll work good for you too. Alright guys, so that's about it. That's as simple as I can give it to you. The, uh, the settings for the AT Pros are really, really basic, really simple. And I think you'll do very well with those settings. So that's about it for me today. I will have a written version of this how-to over on my website, mentalmetaldetecting.com. Don't forget to check it out over there if you want the written version. Or you can join me on Patreon, and uh, you'll see this video over there ad-free. And you won't have to worry about being interrupted with all those crazy ads. So um, that's it for me. Hope you got something out of it. If you did, I'd really like it, for, like it if you put a comment below. And if you didn't, Put another comment. I don't care. I'm very humbled when you guys tell me the truth. So just let me have it. I'm trying to do a lot of new stuff here in the channel. A lot of helpful things for you guys that are just starting out metal detecting. Okay. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. And until next time, see ya in another mental metal video.